I mean, this is the whole entire, this is what, uh, I guess that this is the part that a lot of people don't see when it comes to, like, trying to go get a faster time, is that I have literally, like, you, well, you, I guarantee you, you believe this, there has been times where I've literally sat, for, sat here for four hours trying to see if me hitting a particular part of my boat makes it jump higher. I'll just sit here for hours fucking around in the heist trying to go and see if one particular part changes timing by a lot. Like, um, one thing. When you are spawning in, and you're in the long thing, right? You can skip the cutscene of you driving in if you just repeatedly press the um, cinematic camera mode. Yep. Yep. It reduces the amount of time, and it also increases the amount of time that um, you have control of the boat, decreasing the time even more. Because I'm fairly certain the time starts, like, the second that you, like, spawn in. At least I think so. And then I've never messed around with it, but I'm fairly certain that it's faster to just go with one bar at a time on the, um, plasma gun. And just, like, get muscle memory for going to each one. I'm sure getting up on the roof again. Because if I get up on the roof, I can... I can literally run over the Juggernaut. Like, not literally run him over, but like... Walk over his head. And I don't think he'll hear or see me. And then I won't have to mess... I won't have to mess with the guard. I won't have to wait on the guard to turn at all, either. I won't have to wait on the guard to turn. I can probably sneak around the other guard that's looking in my direction. Oh, shit, yeah, this might actually be a better method. This Otacon's method might be a better method than mine now. Because you can't kill anybody with my method. Who knew? Otacon was planning for the future all along. Yeah. Fuck. Never mind, Otacon's method don't work all that well. Well, actually, yeah, no, it, it's slower than mine still. Because of the fact of you still can't, like, sneak past this guard. Uh, hey, Tate. Yeah, I just got past the guard on the tower without killing him. Yeah. I, sn I snuck her off him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, s I'll send you the whole entire heist. I'll post the whole heist on YouTube. Well, oh, this one even shows the new route that I took, but I don't think it's any faster. No, I, I already went over that, never mind. Only question is, is leaving. Am I going to be able to sneak past him again, or where does he go? Yeah. I'm really hope with my luck, he'll probably be standing like right outside the door. And I'll just open the door and knock them over.
Well, don't hop off yet. I'm about to go and do this entire heist without being seen at all. So now the question is, is do I just like go all the way and like not even kill anybody when I leave? Yeah, I think I might do that. Take a cut if you don't kill anybody. You know? A friend of mine almost wants to go and stay, like, and not killing a single person just to prove a point. Like, to just prove to Rockstar that there's, like, nothing you can possibly do to make this heist that challenging. Yeah, I'm already in the water. I know my hard mode too. The only, the only, the only downfall is that I didn't go and get um, I didn't get um, full loot. But I could have gotten elite challenge and everything without killing a single person. I'm at the sea mine right now. I'm about to go and finish the heist. Yep, heist is done. Oh, I will. Tomorrow? Oh, well, for sure. Have a good night. See ya. Ah, it's 7 minutes 12 seconds.